Hello. Happy beginning of the weekly vlog. No, it is not Monday. It is Wednesday. You might be asking Jill, what happened to Monday and Tuesday? Why is it Wednesday at 5.20 in the evening and you're just starting the vlog? Well, to be totally honest with you, so far this week, um, it's been pretty stressful. I think most ever. Let me put you down. Okay, hopefully you can see me okay. Anyways, um, yeah, I pretty much had an emotional breakdown Monday evening. Um, you know, I worked all day, Monday, whatever, and it just so happened that on Monday I had gotten an email from a potential daycare place. I'm not going to say... I, that we don't have the money, that's not it. But I got an email giving their rates for daycare, and it was just ridiculous. It's so expensive. And I was like trying to figure out, you know, how much that is monthly and looking at our budget. And I just like, whoa, I mean, we barely would make it. So that was just kind of like, bleh. And I was like, okay, well, maybe it's just high. You know, we can find somewhere cheaper. And I tried to put something online and just, I don't know. I didn't get really a lot of help, I guess, in the way that we wanted. So that was really stressful. And then it just so happened I came home. And I don't know, I just was really sad. And I started crying and sobbing pretty much all night. It was awful. And then yesterday... Um, went through the day trying to just get through it okay and I don't know the baby's movements are just so random it gets me concerned all the time and so we met with um, a potential doula yesterday and I don't know we just didn't really gel well it wasn't really I'm not even really sure about that and so now it's Wednesday at 5 23 and we're supposed to meet with another potential doula at 7 but I don't know if we're going to be able to because this morning um, I left for work and Jenna texted me and said, hey, um, I took a shower. Well, I'm assuming she took a shower and said that in the bathroom, the, uh, the tub spout was leaking. Not just like a drip, but a good stream of water. And she tried to, you know, turn off the water downstairs, but it was still leaking no matter what. And I was just like, crap. So I have to call the plumber, and so he's supposed to come now, so I called like almost an hour ago, and he hasn't come yet, which is great, um, and I'm assuming we're not going to be able to go and meet with the doula, um, I'll have to email her, I know it's kind of last minute, I don't know, maybe I'll wait until 6.30 and see then... And speaking about the plumber, that cost a lot of money, and then the doula cost a lot of money, and I was just like, so oh, so overwhelmed and thinking about money and making sure that we can afford everything, and, you know, what about work, you know, is it good for me to stay at the job, or is it not, it just, oh. so that's why we haven't been filming much, just because literally I'm just an emotional wreck, and I'm barely making it through the day, just letting you know. So that's what's up. I'm sorry for starting the vlog and just kind of bleh, ranting at you. But to be honest, you know, it's been a shitty week so far. So great. Hopefully the rest of the week and weekend vlog will be better. Cross your fingers. Barely making it. <laughs> so the plumber's here. Great. He actually has plumber's crack, which was kind of funny. But yeah, we will see because... I don't know if we can figure it out. So yes, finally got it fixed. The guy left like an hour or two hours ago, but everything is fixed. And we have a fun story. You wanna tell them about the cats? Apparently, when the plumber came, he had to check on the water pipes downstairs, uh, you know, like the shutoff valve and such. 
And Jill told him, you can't leave the basement door open because there's a lot of storage down there. It's unfinished. The walls, there's a lot of dangerous things for the cats. Plus, we have a window in there that was open for that time. And so he still left the door open, of course. So all of the cats except Peanut went downstairs. And I wasn't home, but Jill found Leanne and Felcor but could not find Claire anywhere. So when I got home, we couldn't find her. And we thought maybe she had gotten out of the window. And somehow she had walked away. And I was like, no, that can't be. So we looked everywhere, couldn't find her. I thought, well, maybe she did get out. And so I started looking out in the yard, everywhere I could. I She couldn't have gotten far because it wasn't that long. And she's not going to go anywhere too far because she'd be too scared. So I'm looking and looking and looking and I'm walking all around the neighborhood. And I text one of our neighbors. I said, hey, can you look out for us? So I'm still trying to find her, but couldn't find her. I was like, crap. So I thought, well, she has to be down in the basement. I just have this feeling. I know her. She tends to hide. She gets really scared and hides really well. So I went down there and I found an area where there was a bunch of boxes all shoved up against the wall. And I looked and I finally saw a foot and I was like, yes, but I was concerned. Maybe she was stuck. It was something serious. I was like, crap. So I moved everything I could. I got her out. And luckily she was just, you know, sitting there against the wall, all squeezed in. So I took her by her uh, back of her neck and pulled her out and felt much better. Of course, I'm holding her and oh my goodness, it was just very stressful. Like, seriously, I was going to murder the plumber. I would have went to jail and birthed this baby. I'd rather me than you. Somebody, something would have happened. But it didn't. We didn't kill anyone. Don't call the cops on us. <laughs> but that was just, I was like sobbing. I was so upset about everything. But luckily we found her. I grabbed her and I was sobbing. And of course the plumber's probably like, what? But anyways, everything is fixed. Uh, we paid a bunch of money. And now we're both exhausted. So that was a wonderful Wednesday. Yeah. We'll see you tomorrow. The adventure continues. Yep. Sometimes you just need mac and cheese. That's what I wanted. Um, I was a bit nauseous, so I bought a ginger ale. And, I don't know, for some reason, mac and cheese just sounded really good. But I'm really excited because we just picked our pediatrician. Um, it's really great. We're really excited about it. Do you want to talk about the pediatrician and why we love her so much? Or somebody's eating? Sorry, somebody is busy. I'll have to talk to you later. So don't mind the hair, sorry, but I'm gonna take a shower. But I'm going to test the shower first, for the first time after he fixed it. So hopefully everything works okay and there's no leak, there's no problem because we're leaving tomorrow morning and going out of state and ugh, cross your fingers. Eek, it works. Those are so cute. The rain boots. Ugh. But I don't need them. They're $25. But I don't need it. But they're cute. Ugh. So, does that mean it's a craving? If I'm eating it two days in a row? I don't know. But we got a package and I don't know what it is. So, let's see. Oh my goodness, they are the bottles. Um, I don't remember if I told you, but I actually won Comatomo bottles, like a bottle set. Um, on Instagram, they have weekly competitions. You just put down your name and stuff, and I actually won one, so yay! I'm so excited, let's see. That is 
awesome. I'm really excited. Those are the bottles that I wanted on my registry, and but I won some. Woohoo! I'm so excited. I just want to open it and see what it looks like. I'm really excited because these are kind of expensive, so I thought, well, you know, if we don't get it on the registry, you know, it's fine. I can just buy other bottles. I mean, I did buy those other bottles, the cheaper ones um, from the baby sale, just if the baby doesn't like these, but these are free, so woohoo! <laughs> looks really nice. Um, I wanted the green just because they only have two colors, pink or green, and since we don't know if it's a boy or a girl, I figured green is more gender neutral. So we got green. Exciting! Now I'm going to eat my mac and cheese. If he fits, he sits. I forgot to show you something a friend actually gave us. It's an old toy that they have. It's so cool. It has sign language, it has braille, which I don't know if we'll ever use that, but it's there, so it's really cool. I'm really excited about it. It should be fun for the child when they're older, but cool. Thank you. Yeah, it's Saturday at 4.44 in the morning. Yes, it is early. I wanted to get everything ready, and then I'm going to wake up Jenna, and then we will head out. We are going to see her family. Woohoo! Early. I look awful. Right now, we are entering Virginia. So, should get there pretty soon. Uh, we'll be arriving at Jenna's family's, her mom and stepdad's house. So, yay! We had a few issues, but it's fine. So, now we're hitting quite a bit of traffic, but I'm sure it's just because it's Northern Virginia. to see that yet but this is what we saw cute very cute so we're here in Virginia now my mother-in-law's house and Jenna's mom's house shopping with the family Happy Sunday! Um, I think the last clip you saw was yesterday. Saturday I was shopping with uh, my mother-in-law and grandmother-in-law. Um, yeah, after that we just ate dinner and had a lot of stuff to do preparing for the baby shower. But this morning I walked on the treadmill over there. And now what I'm going to do are squats. I'm supposed to have started, I think, now. I don't know. I keep forgetting, but I'm going to do them now and watch some YouTube 
And yeah, sorry about the vlog. Oh, I know every week they're really late, but every week so far it's just been really crazy. And the problem is I get the video ready, but then I have to caption it, which takes me time. So that's usually the issue, but accessibility is important. Ready for the party? Yep. I have some time, so I'm just kind of relaxing before I got to put my social face on. So right now, we're just focusing on the shower. It's in about 15 minutes at 1 o'clock. So just kind of doing some last minute things and seeing my mom losing her mind. few gifts still waiting for other people to arrive. Right now, getting ready for the party. It's happening soon, so just all last minute stuff before everyone gets here and then, eh. The party has started. A lot of food, a lot of people, and lots of stuff. <laughs> 